Hey, what's up YouTube? Stacking and Packing here. Today we've got another two box half dollar hunt. So a thousand dollars and half dollars. Both boxes are NF string and sun rolls. And we've got quite the box today. So let's go ahead and get into what we've got and I'll explain everything as we go. Box number one, we're gonna have three super heavy rolls. So most likely just an extra half dollar in those rolls. We're gonna have one semi heavy roll, two slightly heavy rolls, and an underweight roll, which most likely is just missing a half dollar. And that's this roll right there. Then we're gonna move to box number two, and this one gets interesting. I was weighing up the rolls for this one, and the very first roll was a heavy, and then we kept going, and well, they all were really pretty much heavy. We have four enders so far that I've found. We have a 1950, and that's gonna be a Benji. We have a 1967 ender. We have another 40%er ender. And we have a 1956 Benji Ender. Now, these four rolls right here, going back is all heavy rolls. This one's not a heavy roll, but everything going back is a heavy roll. So it should be interesting to get into this box. Most of this box is gonna be live. We're gonna start with box number one. We're gonna get into it and let's see if we can find anything in the first. We'll do the first roll for box number one, being that we do have so many heavy rolls for this hunt. And this looks like it's going to be a very fun hunt, so I'm very excited for it. We're starting off with box number one that doesn't have too many heavy rolls. I'm not seeing anything in roll one of box one. So I'm going to go ahead, cut off here, again to the rest of box number one, and I'll bring you guys in for our first okay, find. Okay, guys, roll number eight, and we're going to have our first find. I'm sure you guys can see it because it's pretty much jumping out right at you guys. So let's go ahead and pull it out and see what we've got. It is a proof. I did look at the reverse, not the obverse, so I don't know what year we've got. From the reverse, it actually looks pretty good. So let's take a look. And wow, that obverse is terrible. This is a 1984 San Francisco. So it's a proof. The reverse is really nice. So should be interesting to see what this looks like when it is cleaned up properly, aka conserved. So we're gonna put this one to the side and our coin cleaner just came in the mail actually. So definitely getting excited for that video, but I'm gonna keep on going and I'll bring you guys in for our okay, next Okay guys, one. we are on roll number 20 and we're gonna have our first silver. I did take a look at this one, so I know what it is. So let's go ahead and pull it out. It's gonna be a 1968 Denver. So our first silver for box number one, we'll take it. It's a 40 percenter, really nice reverse. Obverse, not too bad, but the reverse is really nice. And if you guys are looking at our board here we do have another find that we have on the board and it's that 1987 denver not intended for circulation coin and this is the only year not intended for circulation coin that we actually keep so we're going to keep on going and i'll bring you guys in for our next find okay guys so we just got our next find and my fiance pulled this one out it's going to be a silver i'm sure you guys can see it and i guess the correct year let's see if you guys can too so let's take a look at that reverse has some cool toning on the reverse and it's a 1967 so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys got this one right so that's 40 percent number two for box number one and we have another 1987 this one's going to be a philly so pretty cool we keep these i'm going to keep on going and i'll bring you guys in for our next okay, guys so i pulled a couple of rolls out of the box that's why it looks a little more empty they're off to the side so my fiance can reach them, but the very next roll, we're gonna have another silver, one off from being an ender. I did take a peek at this one, so let's go ahead and pull it out, and it's a 1968 Denver. So that's silver number three for box number one, shaping up to be a good hunt so far. Make sure you guys stay tuned in this video because box number two is really gonna be a crazy box. Lots of heavy rolls in that box. So I'm gonna keep on going and I'll bring you guys in for the next find. Okay guys, so far three silvers for box number one. Let's get into our heavy rolls and we're gonna start with an underweight roll. Now the reason why I do these underweight rolls is because we have found 90 and 40% silver in underweight rolls in the past. So I do like to open those up live for you guys and I'm not seeing anything there. So most likely we're just missing one half dollar in that roll, which is okay. Next roll is 225.9. And I don't see anything in this roll. So let's get into that next one, 225.7. So a little bit under our 
slightly heavy roll weight, but we added it in there anyways, and I don't see anything in this roll. So let's get into that next one. 226 on the dot. I'm really looking forward to this next box. It's gonna be insane. Not seeing anything in this roll. Now our next three rolls are all super heavy rolls. And I think we're just gonna have an extra half dollar in all of these rolls. Box number two has a super heavy roll. And I'm thinking in the box number two, super heavy roll, we're actually gonna have silver just because it weighs up at 237 grams, not 236. So there's a chance at silver. Nothing in this roll besides an extra half dollar. And oh, it might have been this one, 237. So there's a possibility of silver in this one. If not, I think box two has one. And yeah, there's silver right there. So let's go ahead and see. I think it's going to be a 40 percenter. So this will be our first silver in a super heavy roll like this. And it is a 40 percenter. So it's a uh, 1968 Denver. I don't know why I wanted to say 236 or 226, whatever I was going to say. But a 1968 Denver. So that's four silvers for box number one. That's really good so far. Let's take a look and see if it was actually just the extra. So we got four there. Sorry, five there. Another five. Five more. And that's what it was. Oh, and there's a proof in here too. Wow. We almost missed that. 1981 San Francisco. So we'll take it. That's two proofs. This one's much nicer than that first proof. So we'll add it to the proof stack. And I'm going to go ahead and crack open. We'll do the first roll of box number two. Then I'm going to get everything set up for box number two because we have so many heavy rolls. I have to set up the... Wow, first roll, we're going to have a silver. Let's pull it out and see what we've got. 1967. So that's another 40 percenter. We'll add it to our 67 pile. Kind of want to open up another roll because I feel like we might have a couple silvers here. We'll do the first three rolls. I know I might get a little carried away here. Nothing in roll number two. So let's get into roll three. And then I'll clear up the board and we'll organize everything. And nothing for roll number three. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and double check these rolls. Make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll clear off everything and I will make the board nice and neat for you guys so you guys can see all the heavy rolls and then I'll get into the regular weighted rolls and I'll bring you guys in for our first find. Okay guys, so me and my fiance just opened a roll up together and the roll I opened is gonna have two silvers in it. So let's go ahead and pull them out real quick. We'll put this one down and we'll put the other one down. If I can grab it out, there we go. Her roll is gonna be a little bit better than mine and I'll explain that in a second. But let's get into my finds. So we're going to have a 1966 and a 1969 Denver. So there's the reverses of both coins. So let's go ahead and put these on the board here. Try and do them in date order. Her finds are going to blow mine out of the water. She opened up, and these are all the regular weighted rolls. And she has some crazy finds here. She has three silvers. So let's go ahead and pull them out. I'm assuming this is going to be one of them. And it is 1969 Denver. So let's put that to the side. Then there's this one right here, one off from an ender, 1967. Some pretty cool toning on it. And then you guys can probably see it right there. She got a 90 percenter in a regular weighted roll with two other silvers, which is insane to me. Now this one is no date, walking liberty, half dollar, and we might be able to get a date off of it if I look hard enough, but no date. And we do have a mint mark, and it's going to be a Denver. So it's from Denver, so our first 90 percenter for the hunt. That is awesome. I did suggest to her that we go ahead and just do all these rolls live, but she did say the video was going to be a little too long. So we might actually do a little bit of a live stream while I record as well. So we'll figure that out. I'm going to go through the rest of these lightweight rolls, or regular weighted rolls, I should say, and then all of the heavy rolls are still in the box. Okay guys, just a couple of rolls later, we're actually live streaming this as well right now. We have two silvers here. We have one right here and one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out. 
So the first one's a 1969. Hopefully I don't drop it there. 1969 Denver. So that is awesome. We'll put this one to the side and I'll show it to the live stream in a second here. And we're going to have another one. It's a 1967. So awesome. Two more 40 percenters to add to the board and that thing is getting packed. So I'm going to bring you guys in for our next find. Okay, guys, so the very next roll, and we're going to have another silver. So this, this hunt's really shaping up to be a good one here. It's a 1969 Denver, and the live stream got a first peek at it. So pretty fun stuff. I'm enjoying this live stream, and we're going to go through another. Why don't we just open up another roll live, or what do you think? It's going to be too long. It's up to you. We'll do one more roll live here, just in case we have another silver, and then... We'll go ahead and cut back off because we do have a lot of rolls, heavy rolls to go through. And it looks like we're gonna have another silver. So I'll show it to the live stream as well real quick, right there. So let's go ahead and pull it out. It's definitely a 40 percenter, 1968 Denver. So it's a nice one. And we're tied with 67, 68s, and 69. I don't think we're tied. I think we're like one off from being tied across the board. Actually, we are tied, I think. Yeah, we are tied. So I'm gonna bring you guys in for our next find. Okay guys, so we opened up the rest of those regular weighted rolls and we found quite a few silvers. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling them out for you guys. So this roll is gonna be a 1968 Denver in this one. So another 40 percenter. We are just killing it right now with these 40 percenters. Then the next roll here, as I'm dropping some, we're gonna have another one. Where is it? Oh, I see it right there. So let's go ahead and pull it out. And this one, the reverse looks amazing, really nice. And it's a 1967, so we have a 68 and then we get a 1967 to tie things up again between those two years. And then we have another roll right here, which is gonna have a silver right there. I'm sure you guys can see that. So let's go ahead and pull it out and see what we've got. And it's another 1969 Denver. So we're tied across the board, it looks like. We have quite a few silvers. This hunt is really, really going well. We have our heavy rolls left to go through. I'm gonna clear off the board over here from what we already got. I'm gonna double check everything. I'll organize these heavy rolls for you guys because there's a lot, and then we'll go ahead and get into them. Okay, guys, so we just finished up with our regular weighted rolls. We're both very excited to get into these rolls. We're gonna start off with our underweight roll here, and it's a 214. So let's go ahead and start opening it up and see if we got anything in this roll. And I'm not seeing anything in this roll, which is okay because we do have a ton of heavy rolls here. So I'm going to put this one to the side and my old lady over there, she's going to go through it. I'm moving the other camera that we have set up. It's on top of, yes, you guys got that right, our change that we found so far for the year. So I had to move that a little bit. It was a little bit in the way for my arm, but let's go ahead and get into the next one, 225.9. So these are just the slightly heavy rolls and I'm not seeing anything in this one here. So I'm gonna pass this one off to my fiance real quick. I think she's gonna go ahead and fix something with our, cause we're doing a live stream as well. So she's fixing the She's fixing that camera. The camera's gonna fall over there. 225.9. So we're gonna keep on going here. And next roll, I'm not seeing anything in this next roll. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the next one, which is gonna be a 226.5. So this is our first heavy, heavy roll here that we're gonna get started with. And we're gonna have some silver in here. We might have a couple. Looks like we have one right here. That's a 1964, so we got a 90%er. So we'll put that to the side. We might have one right here. No, that's not a silver. 1972, and it looks like we might have one right here. That is a 1965. I was just saying that we didn't find a 1965, and now we have one. So that's awesome. So we got a 1965, and we'll add this one to the board, and a 1964. So we'll add that one up there. So let's get into the next roll. We're gonna have a 
So, like I said, there's so many heavy rolls here that this is just going to be insane. And we're going to have another one. This one looks like a 90 percenter. So let's go ahead and pull it out. Oh, and it's a Benji. That is awesome. Let me put this down, double check this one. That's not silver. So let's take a look at this Benji here. And it's a 1956. It's a little beat up, a little bent up, but that's okay because it's a 90 percenter. 1956 Philly. So we'll add this one to the board and we'll get on to the next roll. A 226.1. So I'm assuming this one is just gonna be 40 percenters in this roll. Probably a 40 percenter, let's see. And I was wrong, I don't see anything in this roll. Oh, wait, we got one. 1969, and that's why we double check. 1969 Denver, so that's a 40 percenter. I'll add that one. That means 1969 is beating out all the other coins right now for the most popular year. You can just put that other camera a little lower. Yeah. And we got another double silver roll here. This is awesome. Another 1966. So that's our second 1966 for the hunt. Really nice reverse there. Let's take a look at the other silver we got here. Has some toning on it. Let's see. And it's a 1969 Denver. So now 1969 is up by two. Beating out the other coins. 226.2. We're really hoping to find a 1970 here. That would be insane. Looks like we have two in this roll. And these rolls aren't too heavy, so I'm surprised why... 1960, wow. So a 90%er, and this one's gonna be a Philly. So another 90%er for the board. And we have another silver here. These rolls were just a 226.2, and we have two silvers, including a 90%er, which is kind of crazy. 1967, not seeing anything else in that roll. We are gonna double check all of these rolls off camera, just to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'm gonna have to pause at some point just to clear off the desk because it's getting a little crazy on this desk. So a 19, or not 19, a 226.4, and it looks like we got another 90 percenter. That's a dull gray edge. So let's see what we've got. Oh my gosh. This is a collection dump, guys. This is an insane collection dump right here. We just found a commemorative half dollar. This is insane. The George Washington Carver and Booker T. Washington half dollar. This one's from 1952. This is insane. I've been waiting to find one of these forever now. 1952. This is awesome. And I don't see a mint mark on this one. If we can get it to focus, there we go. I don't see a mint mark, so 1952. This is awesome. This is going to be like one of the best finds we've found so far. I'm going to hand this off to my fiance so she can go ahead and show it to the live stream. Let's get into that next roll. I can't believe we just found that. This one's going to be a 226.8. So let's see what we've got in this roll. It looks like another 90 percenter right there. So let's pull it out and see what we've got. And it's another Benji. And this one's going to be a Denver. And it's a 1952 Denver. I know one of the years, either 52 or 53, I always get it confused when I'm doing my videos, but one of the years is a semi-key date, I'm pretty sure. But it might be a Philly. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and open up this one more roll right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and clear the desk off a little bit. So I'll pause the video. I'm losing my voice here, so let me go ahead and put this one back down and take some water real quick. Okay, that should be a little better. I was losing my voice. We got a 226.8 roll. And let's see if we got anything. And we do, we got an old silver edge right there. So let's pull it out and see what we've got. And it's a walker. We've got a walker, guys. So look at that one. Worn down edge, or I should say reverse, sorry. And it's a 1934 Philly. So we'll take it, that is awesome. So two walkers. I'm leaving it like that for now. I'm going to clear off this desk. I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and I'll bring you guys back in in a second. Oops. Okay, guys, so we cleared off our desk, and we're going to get back into these rolls. 226.8. So 
a lot of these 226.8 rolls, I think they're going to be mostly 90 percenters. And I see one right there. Trying to get this on the live stream video as well so those guys aren't missing out. And wow, this has a lot of nice toning on it. And it's a 1957 Philly. That is awesome. That's a nice Benji right there. We're definitely, let me show it onto the live stream real quick. Trying to make this so that the guys on the live stream can enjoy this video as well. 227.2. I was telling my fiance and the guys on the live stream that I'm going to have to upgrade my equipment this year. My recording equipment so i can do stuff like this where i can live stream and wow it's another benji this one's a nice one too 1949 and no mint mark that's going to be a De uh philly almost said denver so a really nice coin right there really nice benji but yeah i was saying that i've got to update my equipment here so i can do stuff like this where i can have a live stream and do a video at the same time, and it's good views for both. So we're gonna have a silver right there on this 226.5, right smack in the middle of the roll, and it's another Benji, 1953. And this one's gonna be a Denver, so that's awesome. Quick peek for the live stream. So far we have some really cool finds here. 226.7. This is that collection hunt that we, sorry, collection dump that we've been waiting for all year now. And we have a silver right there off the edge. So let's go ahead and pull it out. And it's another Benji. We got a little Benji collection dump going on. I'll put those to the side. And it is a 1960. Nice. We'll take it. 1960 Benji and this one's going to be a Philly so I don't know if I mentioned that 226.7 so I'm assuming another 90 percenter in this roll then we're going to get into our I think those up top are a little bit heavier I'm not sure if they're the those are probably going to be 227 rolls we got another Benji here Denver Mint 1961 Denver so we'll take it. We are killing it with the 90 percenters right now. Next roll is going to be a 226.9. So we are making our way up the scale here with our heavy rolls. And we have another 90 percenter right there. This is insane. Another Benji. <laughs> you guys are probably getting me sick and tired of hearing me say another Benji. 1953 Denver. So I think we just pulled out a 1953 Denver, actually. So we're just, this board is getting filled up up top here. 226.8. This is insane. And another silver. This one's a little more worn down, so we might actually have a walker here. Let's pull it out and see. And it's a Benji. It's a Denver, and it's another 1953 Denver. So whoever did this collection dump was probably a collector of 1953 Denver Benjis. It's kind of funny. So we'll get into that next roll, 227.2. So we're getting into that 227 range, which is a little bit heavier. I'm assuming these are gonna be probably, well, it looks like there's a couple of silvers in this roll. So let's go ahead. They're actually right next to each other right there. I want to double check and just make sure we're not missing anything. It doesn't look like we are. So let's pull both of them out here and see what we've got. So we have a, let's see what this one is. It looks like, oh, a 1964 there and a 1968 Denver. Wow, this 1964 has some cool toning on it. And it's going to be a Philly. And that's our 1968 Denver. So there they are. Let's go ahead and add them. We'll just put them up top over here because we're running out of space. I'm going to take a quick drink of water real quick. As my voice is starting to get dry. And we got a 226.8 for the next roll. 
this is funny. I'm on the live stream right now, so I'm just going to read off a couple of comments. Tim says, come on, more Franklin's my favorite half dollar. I have a guardhouse box full of them. Just started my second guardhouse box. That's awesome, Tim. I love the Franklin's. You guys know because you guys watch my channel all the time, Tim, and you probably hear me say it all the time how much I love the Franklin's, and they're one of my favorite half dollar designs. And we got a walker. So we just pulled out a walker. This one is going to be a Philly, and it actually looks to be a little bit in better condition here, and it's a 1943, so this one's nice. 1943 Philly Walker. So that's three walkers now. And our next roll is a 227.2, so let's see if we can pull out two silvers from this roll. Last time we had the 90 and the 40, so that would be awesome if we could. And I see a silver. It looks like just one on this roll. We'll take it. We're not greedy. 1964. So that's cool. Another cool toner on this one. And this one's going to be a Philly. Pretty cool toning. I don't know if the live stream is getting such good quality on the video. But in 1964. So let's get into that next roll. 228.7. This is extremely heavy. I think we might have either two or three 90 percenters in this roll. This is an extremely heavy roll. It looks like we have two. Wait, we might have one here. I don't think so, actually. No, it is. <laughs> we have three 90 percenters in this roll. This is insane. Absolutely insane. A toned 1940. And this one's going to be a Philly. So that's a walker. This one looks like it might be a... Uh, 1964. No, it's a Benji. It's in really nice condition. Wow, that has some cool toning on it, too. On the reverse. The obverse has that same toning. 1963. The obverse isn't as in nice condition as the reverse, but still a really nice coin. And another walker. This is insane. Absolutely insane. 1942. And it's another Philly. So let me just go ahead and show the live stream real quick. So this is crazy. We're just like piling on the silver here. That is, I was, I don't remember whose video I commented on recently, but I mentioned how I wanted to find a double silver bank wrap roll with 90% in it. And we, sorry, we're getting a phone call on her phone there. 227.6. But I was mentioning how I wanted to find a double 90% roll and it looks like this company might actually do it because we did find a triple just now so that beats that out and we have two silvers right here so let's go ahead and pull them out we have a Benji this one looks really nice as well it's a Denver mint and it's a 1963 similar style of toning so a 1963 Denver and we have another one right here let's see what it is and it's a 1964 so there's our double silver 90% roll so we got a double and a triple 90% roll. That's insane. This hunt is crazy right now. Two more silvers right there. We'll take it. That is awesome. We're, we're having a bunch of fun with this hunt. 227.9, so I'm thinking this might be another double roll. And we have one right there and one right there. It looks like we're going to have a double roll. And that's not a silver right there, so let's take out the ones that we know are silvers. Wow, this, this Kendi is really nice toning. 1964. And no mint mark, I don't think. Let me peek off camera. No mint mark there. We'll put this one down. And we'll pull out that other one. Another silver. No mint mark that I'm seeing. And it's another 1964, so a double silver roll. That is awesome. Really, really cool. We'll add those to the board. So now we have four silver enders here. We're gonna go ahead and get into our super heavy roll. And let me go ahead and just fix this real quick. Okay, so we have a super heavy roll, 237.9. I do think there's gonna be a silver in this roll because usually if it has one extra half dollar in it, it's around a 236 and a half roll. So let's see. And we have a silver here. It's gonna be a Let's pull it out and see what we've got. And it's a 1953. And that one's going to be a Philly. So I'll go ahead and add this one to the board. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video real quick. 
and I'm going to go ahead and just clear off this board a little bit, make everything neat, and then I'll bring you guys in for the last four rolls. Okay, guys, so we organized the board a little bit here, and it's not a complete mess now. But we're getting into our one ender. Well, not one ender. We have four enders here. This one's a 226.1. We have a silver right there. So let's open it up and see what we've got. And we're going to have a couple silvers in this roll. I see one right there. So I'm thinking it's just going to be two silvers. And I don't know why I'm saying just two silvers. 1968 Denver. So that's awesome and a 1965 so we are actually missing a 1965 for this hunt so that helps out on that front and or do we have one yeah we have one okay we did have one so we got 1965 and a 1968 denver so let's go ahead and get into our next one 226.5 with a benji ender here so let's open it up and i'll show you guys the benji Benji Ender. It's a 1956. 1956 Benji Ender. And I'm not seeing anything else in that roll, so let's pull out the Benji. 1956. This one's a Philly. So let's get into our next roll. This one's a heavy one here at 228.1. And we have a 1967 Ender there. So a 1967 Ender. So that is awesome. I don't want to go on that side because I don't want to scratch up the coin. Although it already does have the wheel of death, or sorry, ring of death. That's what it's called. So let's see. There should be something else in this roll just because of the weight. And it looks like we got a couple silvers here. Two 90s it looks like. I'm double checking that. Don't see anything there. And it's going to be a 1949 Philly. Let's see what else we've got a 1953 and this one's a denver and then our ender which wow that reverse is really nice it's a shame that it has the ring of death on it 1967 so two 90s and a 40 in that roll really good roll there and then our final roll for the hunt for this amazing hunt that we had 228.3, so another roll that's probably going to have a couple silvers in it. 1950 Benji Ender. So let's go ahead and crack it open here. This hunt was absolutely insane. And it does have two silvers in it. They're back-to-back -back silvers, so that is awesome. Really cool to see back-to-back -back silvers here. This hunt was insane. Let's pull them out. Let's see what we've got. We got a 1950 Benji right there. And we got a 1951 Benji. So insane hunt. This one's a 51 Denver. And let's see what the 50 is. It's a 50 Philly. So wow, this was crazy. I'm going to go ahead and put these to the side. I'll double check our rolls. Make sure we didn't miss anything. And I'll bring you guys in for the wrap up. Okay, guys. It's a couple of days later. It's been a busy holiday weekend. And we're going to get into our wrap up. I did bring the other coins back to the bank and drop them off we did miss one silver i don't know how that happened probably just because we were so busy pulling out all the silvers that it kind of just happened so let's go ahead and get into our wrap up that silver is in there we have a total of 30 90 percenters which is insane for this hunt and we have 26 40 percenters so we had an insane hunt we have two 1987 non-tender circulations and we have two proofs that we have down on the board below and i'm just going to mention them you guys probably see them right there. Those are the 87s. We have a D and a Philly. So Denver and Philly. We have a 1981 San Francisco and we have a 1984 San Francisco. So let's get into our finds. We'll start off with most likely our oldest, which is going to be this worn down Walking Liberty half dollar. And I can't get a date off this one, but I did get a gift for Christmas. And this one's going to be a Denver Mint. I did get a gift for Christmas that is a magnifier so we're going to go ahead and test that out and see if we can get a date off of it i'll go over the dates for the walking liberties we do have a couple of repeats on some of the later dates of coins we have a 34 there we have a 1940 and this is a good time for me to remind you guys to hit that thumbs up button if you guys are enjoying the videos and hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications 
we have a 42 Philly, and we have a 43. So this was an insane collection dump, a Christmas collection dump, another 43 there, or sorry, that was our first 43. So five Walkers, we're gonna get into our Benjis. We have two 1949s, I will show the better of the two. And that's gonna be this one, 1949, with an insane reverse, looks really good. This one's gonna be a Philly. We had two of those. This one is also a Philly, so we won't even show it. We have a 1950, and that one's a Philly. We have a 1951, and that's gonna be a Denver. Now we have a special coin here. This one's going to be a commemorative half dollar, and it's a 1952. This one is the George Washington Carver and Booker T. Washington half dollar. So really, really cool coin. Love the reverse on this one. Really, really awesome find. That's our first silver commemorative half dollar that we found. Then we got a 1952. This one's a Denver. I believe the Philly is a lower mintage, either the 52 or the 53, not sure. The 53. Denver as well. We have another 53 and that's a Denver. So we'll just leave that there. Another 53, another 53. Wow. We had what? That's five 1953s. We had a 1956 and this one's a little beat up here, but Hey, it's a 90 percenter. So we'll take it another 56. And this one is also a Philly. We have a 57, which has some cool toning to it. And this one's actually in better condition, I would say. Still has some of that original luster to it. Reverse looks pretty good, a little worn down. We have a 1960. We actually have a couple of those. We have one, two 1960s. So let's take a look and see what we've got. So we got two 1960 Phillies. We have a 61 over here. And that's gonna be a Denver. The nicer reverse on that one. We have a 1963. This one's a little bit nicer as well. This one's also a Denver. We have another 1963, and then we have a 1964. Let's see how many 64s we have. One, two, three, four, five, six 1964s. I'll show you my two favorites, and that's gonna be these two because they have some cool toning on them, 1964s. I believe all of our 1964s were Phillies. I don't think we had any Denvers here. So pretty cool toning on these. Awesome, very happy to have them. Then we're gonna get into our 40 percenters. Like I said, we had 26 of those. We missed one, which was this 1965. We had three 1965s. I'll show you the one that we missed. I heard it when it went into the machine and thankfully the machine spit it out. Then we had a couple of 66s, two 1966. I'll show you the nicer one. And then we had, actually this one's the nicer one, so I'll show you this one too. It has less marks on his face. Then we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, seven, sorry. Let me double check. Yep, seven 1967s. We'll show you the one that has some toning on it. Pretty cool toning, 1967. So we had seven of those. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of the 68s. I'll show you one of the nicer ones. Luster wise, Kennedy does have some marks on his face. So that's a nice coin there. And then we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, 1969s. So we kind of tied it up there. Seven for the 67s, 68s, and 69s. This one has some cool toning on it. So pretty cool. So we had quite a bit of silver. Like I said, we had what totals does that put us at? I said we had 30 and 26, so we had 56 silvers. That's insane. I did say I wasn't going to show these, but I will show them. A 1987 Philly and a 1987 Denver. So we'll flip them over. They're actually nicer ones. This one could use some conserving. Has some, like, I don't know what it is on the back and on the obverse. And then we had a 1981 and a 1984 here. And this 84 is definitely seen better days. The reverse looks fantastic. And the 1981, the reverse doesn't look as good. But that might just be from the heat from my hands. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and add our silver. We'll pull these to the side. We're going to start adding our silver to the silver jar for the month of December. Today is December 26th. So we did fantastic on this hunt. 
What a collection dump we had. It was so much fun. Let me take a sip of water. As I'm getting a little dry throat there. Let me, I need another sip. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. But we scored an insane amount of silver. We scored almost three rolls of silver. That is insane. It was a fun hunt. So this is the 40 percenters by themselves right there. That's crazy. That one has some nice toning. Well, on the edge at least. But that's crazy. That's a crazy amount. Let's add them to the jar. This jar is probably the fullest it's ever going to be. So let's add those 64s in. And the rest of our coins, I should say, as well. We have so many. I'm going to keep a couple to the side just to see if there's anything. I got I to gotta take a better look at them off camera just to see if their condition is good enough to put to the side and save as more than just silver. Because we do have a couple of coins that we've found throughout the year that were just fantastic shape that we had to keep them in flips on the side. And let's get all these together just so you guys can see how many 90 percenters we had. 30 90 percenters. This was insane. We'll keep the ones that I wanted to keep to the side. Let's add these to the jar. This jar is very heavy right now. Insane. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. We had a fantastic year so far. We do have a couple more boxes to go through before the year ends. But I want to thank you guys for all the support. I appreciate you guys. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys. Oh, I almost forgot. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Leave a comment and subscribe if you guys are new around here. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on our next hunt.